In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be the best way to run the U-Trips offense, one of the best play concepts in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to let you know about my first ever Madden 22 live stream. I'm going to be streaming Madden 22 action this evening uh, as soon as the game launches. So make sure that you've subscribed and make sure that you have joined our text message membership. I'm going to be shooting a text out to everybody to let them know whenever I go live. Um, my number is 208-218-6900. And if you want to be notified of whenever I go uh, live tonight, it's not going to be every night that I'm going to notify you, but just tonight. If you want to be notified, then what I want you to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Also, real quick, I want to let you know about something free that we're doing for the community, and that is that every single week I'll be releasing a brand new offense and defense um, every single week to my text message members. So the way that you sign up for that, again, is just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. We broke down pretty much every scheme that you can think of in Madden 21. We broke it down, especially the meta stuff. So if you want to stay up to date and know exactly what the best material is in the game again text that word madden to 208-218-6900 now the play that we're going to be going over in this video is to play tight end whip this is one of my favorite plays it's a very good play out of the uh u-trips formation if you haven't ran it yet um i think that you will uh get a lot out of this video because i think you're going to see how good this play really is now, before we go too far, I want to make sure I'm going to set up a couple different adjustments here just so that you can see a couple different coverages. Um, I think the 335 wide, at least the cover three version out of the 335 wide, is still going to be a very good coverage. This coverage right here is going to be good this year. Whether you like it or not, it's still going to be in the game. I guarantee it. So all we're going to do with this concept here is we're actually going to create a uh, basically a levels concept. And the way that that's going to work, and I really recommend this route. If you're not running this route in Madden 22, you're doing something wrong. I've talked about it before on this channel. Please make sure that you're running table routes to your running back. The table route, in my opinion, is the best route to run to a running back in the game. So please, please, please run a table route. The next thing that I like to do is put the circle receiver on a smart routed out route. You're going to find this year that smart routed out routes are super effective um, at beating the defense. And then all we're going to do is we're going to motion this R1 receiver to the left, and we're going to snap the ball right on the outside hip just like that and what you're going to see first is look at that that's a hard flat out there with no zone drops whatsoever attached to it and we're still able to do a really good job at beating that coverage this is what makes this play so good in my opinion because you're going to start to notice that the trend with that table route is you can throw that against anything and honestly i like to look at that first and if i can throw the table route i'm always going to throw it the next read on this play and the next thing that I want to talk about is this smart routed out route to the circle receiver. If you take a look at this circle receiver, you're going to see this little out route. Now, this looks a little bit different than it's ever looked before, and this is actually going to carry over into the Madden 22 uh, next-gen console. Again, I am not on the next-gen game yet, but these are things that are going to work in the next-gen. So I'm on next-gen 21 right now. This will work in next-gen 22. I've seen the footage that will literally back this up 100%. This out route to circle, if you watch how it works, it's actually going to work more like a back shoulder fade. So against cover three, I can just throw it outside past lead just like that. And I have a pretty good opportunity to be able to hit that. Let me show you that one more time. And then we're going to go over that against man-to-man -man in just a second. And you'll see number one, or the number one reason why I like it is actually for what it does against man-to-man. -man. It's a really good read in combination with everything else as well. But again, I just want to show this, and you're going to see again, he's just going to kind of fade to the outside and I can do and I, I screwed up I threw a low ball let me show you that without throwing a low ball you don't want to throw a low ball um, but again you're you're treating this basically like an out route and this year out routes are hundred percent back I think they're one of the best routes in the game I'm gonna be throwing a lot of out routes this year I can already tell you the smart routed out routes they've been you know good in some Maddens and good and great in some Maddens this year they're gonna be tearing towards great and of course I say that I'm throwing pick after pick after pick on, on 21, but trust me, 22. If you don't want to use that, you can use something else. I'll show you in just a second. Um, the other thing that you can use if you don't want to use that, but just trust me, the out routes are going to be good next year. Um, and if you don't want to use that, that's fine. I could just use a simple curl route. And let me just show you what a curl route does. Curls and outs are going to be really good next year. So let me just show you. You basically just have essentially a high low over there. And then you also have this nice post route. Now the cool part about 22, 
is there's actually in 22 the defense you're going to notice they're going to play those post routes a little bit tighter than they did in years past but this specific type of post route from the new england patriots uh, playbook on both sides of this are going to both be very good so you'll see here when he cuts the inside it's real sharp rounds it out gets a nice possession catch over the middle what you're going to force in last year's game the opponent was able to use her the levels concept I, I tried to run this um not just the u trips but i tried to run a lot of levels and unfortunately i wasn't able to do that because the user was so good in last year's madden that you could literally use her both sides of the field now it's not exactly the, the case they can't use her both the intermediate and the vertical so if they go to the vertical then you're going to check that down to the r1 receiver now i want to spend a few seconds here on man coverage and i want to show you this out route real quick against man coverage just to show you that i'm not exactly crazy um, this route is very effective and then i want to show you the table route as well but if you take a look at it here, you're going to get both of these guys off the jam. Again, that out route just kind of fades to the outside. And you see you get this little back shoulder kind of basket catch uh, type of animation. And again, these out routes, I'm telling you right now, they're a little bit better in Next Gen 22 than they are in Next Gen 21. But they're going to be good regardless. Again, let me show you again. Just out right there. Click on. And of course, we're not able to make the play. But just trust me, it'll work. If you don't want to use an out route, do something else. It's fine. Um, you can use something as simple as a curl. The main concept I'm trying to show is this left side. The right side, you can pretty much do whatever. Let me just show you the curl just to show you get something here. Just low ball the curl as you see beats man. So you just want to have something over there that you can go to that is a good man beater, zone beater, blitz beater, something like that. You know, that's all you're really looking for on this because you're really wanting to work this left side now the tight end uh whip route you can do a lot of things with that um you can also if you don't want to use that you certainly don't have to but look at what this table route does to man-to-man -man coverage this is what i'm talking about when it comes to next gen madden 22 i really want to try to drive this point as home as best as i possibly can if you're playing next gen madden 22 and you're not throwing table routes you are playing the game wrong if you watch how this works when he cuts to the outside they never pick the ball and as you can see here it's an automatic seven to eight yards whether it be man to man or zone with hard flats it does not matter you're going to have a lot of success every route on this play beats man to man as long as you either put a curl or a smart red out route to circle every single one Every single route will beat man-to-man -man coverage. This um, tight end whip route is one of the best man beaters in the game. As you can see right there, we're going to beat man for about 15 to 20 yards. That route has been beating man coverage for as long as I've been playing Madden. It's one of the best routes every single year uh, to the tight end. Decroft has made this play famous. And then I want to go over this square receiver. Um, you'll see here on the cut, see how he gets matched up on that linebacker because of the man switch. Very good route against man-to-man. -man. And then last but not least... Uh, the route to Chris Godwin. This is honestly my favorite route, and it's ironically one of the later progressions in the actual play. But what you'll see is he's going to get a nice little rounded cut in the inside, and he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man for about 10 yards every single time. This play is really, really good for a lot of different reasons. I want to encourage you to try to work this out route in. If you don't want to run the out route, that's fine. You can run a curl. But I do want to really tell you that this out route is normally really, really good against the blitz. That's more of what you're normally going to get. Um, you get like it, it actually kind of runs it like a rounded out route or like a corner route um, It's kind of hard to see that on the play art, but you'll see he doesn't run it like an out route It's more of a rounded out route once that corner turns his hip That's where you're able to throw that route for a lot of success So I would encourage you to mess around with the out route a little bit. It's really good against cover three cover four um, And then it's also really good against cover two man and then you have everything else on this backside. You know, again, man coverage. This this is not exactly the play where you need a man beater. You have four other ones, but you know you can do whatever you want there. Um, real quick, just so just so that we um, just to kind of wrap this video up and, and show one other little piece of this. If you want to leave this circle receiver on his route and run a fade, you certainly can do that. I just want to show you that circle receiver is. It was not one of the best post routes last year. It's actually going to become one of the better post routes of the game this year. So be sure to use this. This is a great concept from U-Trips. If you want to learn more about my U-Trips formation that I'm going to be breaking down over the course of the game, um, over the course of Madden 22, or you just want to get my free offenses and defenses sent to your cell phone every single week whenever I release them, you'll get those completely for free. Cost you nothing to sign up. All you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I put a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to streaming some Madden 22 content for you later on this evening.